You love this bit, don't you? You do. You love it when we squirm. When we're uncomfortable, you're loving this. Sex education isn't just for teens. Many people struggle to separate fact... Don't look at me when I'm saying words like stuff. Uh, struggle to separate fact from fiction when it comes to the bedroom. So have you ever wondered how many women actually fake it in the bedroom and how many guys are taking those little blue pills? Well, we've found some surprising sex statistics and to take us through them is women's health sex expert Jacqueline Hellier. Good morning to you, Jacqueline. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's start at the very beginning. What's right. the average age? that um, people lose their virginity? Right, the average age is late teens, it's around 17, but the range is fairly broad from early adolescence through to late 20s. Right. Oh, okay. There is a statistic around that yep. we need to discuss with you. How yep. many women are faking, you know, the thing? The, the bit, the stuff, the th or that bit orgasm? at the end. Yes. Orgasm. Yes. Are we clear about that? Orgasm. Yes. You can say it. Sounds quite clinical when you say it. <laughs> yeah, that's because I'm clinical. Sounds better when you say it. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> better when you That's right. How many women are as faking it? As far as that? I'm concerned, if one woman's faking it, that's too many. The okay, fact yeah. is, is a lot of women don't reach orgasm during normal sexual activity. And that's okay. But there's an expectation that we should, and if we don't, then we need to fake it. Right? So if you keep in mind that only about a quarter of women can reach orgasm from the more penetrative, or as I like to call it, envelopment type sexual activity. Mm -hmm. yes. And about another 50 from other types of sexual activity. That leaves mm -hmm. another quarter that don't very often at all. Uh, was there a statistic up there that men fake it? Men fake uh, it? Uh, 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 men can fake it, yeah. Yeah, uh, about... How? 20. <laughs> it's not that hard. You want me to demonstrate? You know? no, 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 no. I didn't realise it. Okay. Yeah, you just kind of groan a bit and go, uh, uh, and, and, yeah. Okay, can you answer the age old question? <laughs> Does size matter? Does size matter? Yeah. Not as much as men like to think. Yeah, but this is a, I think this is a misconception amongst yeah. men. I think men yeah. really take it seriously, and yeah. I, I never hear girls sitting around talking about it. No. Very much. No. The thing is, the, where we see, <laughs> where men see most. <laughs> Penises is actually on porn shows and yeah. the guys are selected for size rather than lovemaking ability. So what is really more important, and guys need to know this, is what women want is a man who's great at making love. Yeah. And the size is fairly relevant because most vaginas aren't that big anyway. So do you think men have an, 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 uh, an unrealistic yeah. perception of, yeah. of size? Yeah, well the right. average size is only about 12 to 18 centimetres, right. which is probably about that much shorter than the average porn stars. Right. That, that's, that's about normal. That, that's porn. Okay, got it, got it. We don't <laughs> want that. That's Thank unpleasantly you. large, no, no, in fact. Okay, no, no, we're done. Okay. Um, this is nearly over, surely, is it? <laughs> yeah, I can't have that much more time for this segment. Um, satisfied Relax. or Relax. not, yeah. satisfied or not, how many partners do Aussies have on average, would you say? The average is mm. about 10. The range is enormous, from about 1 through to hundreds. But we have slightly more on average than the rest of the world. We're a little right. bit more promiscuous. Right. Um, I think we're about fifth in the world yeah. in terms of promiscuity. Jacqueline, mm. what, what have you got to say about statistics? Because mm. there's, a, there's a lot of thought, yeah. apart from the physical sort yeah. of stats that we're talking about yeah. there, that when it comes to sex, no one ever really tells the truth. What's That's your true. thoughts on that? Because you, I mean, you deal with this every, every week. Day. This, is, yeah, this yeah. is what you write about in mm -hmm. women's health. Yeah. What, what's your general feeling about you know, how honest people really are when it comes to talking about sex? Yeah, when it comes to answering um, surveys and so forth, mm -hmm. I think people tend to, you know, sort of err a little bit in the direction that they think is favourable. Yes. I do have a slight problem with statistics because people think that that means that's normal. Yes. And will find themselves lacking in comparison. When in fact, you know, as I said, 10 partners on average, but that's a range from one to hundreds. Mm -hmm. What's normal, what's acceptable varies for everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. How important is it that you think we do discuss it, like with our partners and... Hugely yeah. important. I mean, it's one of the most important parts of life and it's an area that people rarely talk about. Yeah. And I know when people come to see me in my clinic, you know, one of the things they say is, such a relief, like, yes. to actually be able to talk to someone about yeah. this. Mm -hmm. mm. Lovely. Well, I'm glad we had the opportunity to talk to you today about this. It's been a pleasure, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Uh, good to see you. And to read more of Jacqueline's advice, just pick up a copy of this month's Women's Health magazine.